In this video, we'll unlock the potential of your iPhone camera with these handy tips. Learn the art of composing using the rule of thirds. Master techniques like straightening top-down and horizontal shots. Utilizing burst mode for action-packed sequences. Optimizing mirrored selfies and exploring the innovative view outside the frame feature for precise alignment without cropping. Enhance your photography skills with simple settings tweaks, turning every shot into a masterpiece. Thanks for tuning in to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Let's start with the rule of thirds. The grid tool has been available for some time now. It divides your photo frame into a grid with two horizontal lines and two vertical lines, creating nine equal squares. The rule of thirds draws your eyes to the most essential part of the image and creates a more visually appealing composition. Here's how to set up the grid on your iPhone camera app. What we're going to want to do is we're going to open up the settings app. We're going to scroll down until we see camera. There we go. Tap on the camera app. And then under composition, toggle on the switch that says grid. Why use the rule of thirds? Well, it creates balance. It adds more complexity to an image than just placing your subject in the center. It creates energy. It gives your photo a sense of depth rather than being a flat image. Using the camera level when taking a photo from above, like a plate of food or something on the ground, helps capture a balanced shot without using a tripod or a mount. It's also helpful in shooting objects above you, like the sky or ceiling. To set up the level, we'll open the settings app. So I'm already inside the settings app. We're going to locate camera again. We're going to scroll down to composition and we're going to toggle on the switch next to level. And now you're ready to go. So now you would open up your uh, camera app and you would set the mode to either photo, portrait, square, or time lapse. And then point the camera down at your subject. And you'll see what will happen is you'll have floating crosshairs with a fixed crosshair in the center of the screen. By adjusting the camera's angle, the crosshairs will come together and they'll glow yellow when they're in alignment. Once you see that, tap the shutter button to take your shot. By turning on the level option, Apple has also added a horizontal level for traditional shots. When your iPhone senses you're lining up a straight on shot and you tilt your device slightly out of horizontal, you'll see broken white lines will appear, letting you know that the shot isn't level. Adjust the tilt of your iPhone. The lines will come together and turn yellow to indicate success. Then go ahead and take your shot. Use burst mode. Burst mode captures a series of photos in quick succession. It's a great way to take action shots you're more likely to capture a photo of your liking. So the first thing we want to do is check the settings. So I'm inside the settings app. I'm going to tap on camera. I'm going to locate where it says use volume up for burst, and I'm going to toggle that switch on. Now, when I long press on the volume up button, but you'll see a counter increasing in the on-screen shutter button for as long as you hold that volume up button down. This indicates how many shots were captured. When you take your finger off the volume up button, the burst mode will end. The burst shots will automatically appear in the Photos app under an album named Burst. You'll also find them in the central photo library. So to view your burst photos, I'm inside of the photos app. I've tapped on albums at the bottom. 
I've located my bursts album. I'll tap on that. And then I can locate the burst photos that I want to look at. I'll open them up. You'll see that it says there are 10 photos here. To see those photos, go ahead and tap on select at the bottom. And then you'll be able to scroll through the photos, find the photo that you like best, select that photo, and now I'll tap on done and I'll have the option to keep everything or keep only the photo that I favorited. An optional camera setting in the iPhone 11 and newer allows you to see the outside bounds of the photo frame. Now you can correct the alignment of the photo and video without having to crop it. So to set this up or to make sure that this is enabled, I'm going to swipe out of the camera app. I'm going to come in to settings. I'm going to make sure that I'm in the camera settings. And then I'm going to make sure that this toggle switch view outside the frame is toggled on. And so let me come back in to the camera. And what you'll see is below the um, text and the shutter button behind it, you'll see some uh, of the photo of, of my desk and, and what's there. If I zoom in, now you'll see that it zoomed in a little too much there, but you can still see above and below the grid, you can still see a portion of the photo. And this allows you to maneuver the camera so that you don't have to crop your photos once you've taken the shot. Embrace the power of your iPhone camera by incorporating these techniques into your photography routine. These tips provide a comprehensive guide to elevate your photography game, unleash your creativity, experiment with settings and capture moments precisely, making your iPhone a versatile tool for stunning visual storytelling. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.